guys, this is Tharsh, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download and I'm also going to be reviewing the Roost Super Crumpets Balance mod. So for those of you guys who play Roost and you all are wanting a mod that changes the game around a bit and adds some new stuff and just changes the way you will play the game, then this is the perfect mod for you. So there's a lot of people that do like this mod, there's some people that don't like it and then there's some that are in between like myself. So first I'm just going to read over the description here and the main features and stuff. Then I'll show you guys exactly how to download it step by step. And I'll finally go in into the actual game and show you some more in-depth stuff about it. So first things first. Um, the main features of this is basically it makes your AI more powerful. So the easy mode on the, in the mod is vanilla hard mode. Medium is harder mode with better settings and more cheat money. And yeah, so that's just the main feature of the mod is it changes the AI, it adds all the campaign maps as uh, to multiplayer and tweaks the game to make micro easier and it also tweaks all the uh, unit prices, unit strengths and weaknesses and it just basically tweaks the units and the money and stuff like that. Anyway, let's get uh, into the actual download. So if you come to the mod DB page and you so, or if you just search Super Crumpets Roost mod, you'll find it pretty easily but in case you don't I'm gonna leave a link to the mod in the video description as well as the pin comment so make sure you check over there so anyway you come down to files and you see like there's just a ton of versions so the newest version right now as of August 30th 2020 is Roos uh, SCBM 097A1 so I will click on this then this is it shows the location file name category uh, shows when it was added it shows the size of the mod Downloads in total is 70, so that is pretty cool. And let's download the mod. So you click over there, it will say uh, click to download Roost mod if it doesn't start automatically. So let's just see if it starts automatically. If it doesn't, I will click here to download it. Yeah, okay, I'm just going to click over there. So there you go, it's starting to download now. So let's just close this ad and show all. So okay yeah so now we have to just wait three minutes until this is downloaded and then i will show you guys exactly how to install it in the meantime let's get back to just talking about the mod so basically what this mod does is it adds all the different campaign maps it uh, adds them to multiplayer and it allows you to actually play them so a lot of the maps aren't balanced or finished yet but they're there and you can play them and it is a lot of fun to do that another thing it does add is it changes all the unit prices so admin buildings are no longer hundred dollars they're more like three hundred dollars or four hundred dollars or something like that so it changes all the prices and the way certain units work like tanks he's uh, changed the speed at which the turrets rotate so it allows you to uh, actually uh, pincer and micro and actually ambush your enemy tanks and stuff a lot better and yeah so it also changed the like the strengths of different units, so like it changed the range of certain units, changed the damage it does, the health of it, and so on. Like in this mod, uh, for example, if you use a bunch of heavy bombers and you bomb some level four, level five armor with like ten of them, you will absolutely wipe out the entire armor column. So yeah, it just changes a lot of things. So changes your unit prices, the way each unit works, it changes, but adds in all the different uh, campaign maps as multiplayer maps. Only one, I think, is actually finished the rest on, but it's still a lot of fun to play on. And yeah, anyway, uh, let's just, is it finished downloading? Nope, one minute left. So yeah, and like this description, right? So for this uh, updated version, it was just some small updates, like it changed the unit retreat speed, it changed the infantry uh, health points, it changed the willies uh, cost, the Kubo wagons cost, uh, the speed of the Jackson, it's upped it by like 6Ks per an hour, so it's not that much, but it's pretty cool. And then this, I believe, is Colditz. Yeah, this is the Colditz map. And so you can actually play on this, which is really cool. So yeah, if you guys do want to check it out, then yeah, I will leave the link down below in the description. And yeah, so it's a pretty cool mod. Um, and by the way, you guys just have to remember this, but if you have the mod installed, then you cannot play with uh, players using Vanilla Roost. If you do, it will desync the game every time. Also, if you're using different versions of the mod, for example, you have this version and your friend has a slightly older version, it will desync the game and you won't be able to play. So make sure you have the same version of the mod as the people you are playing with. And obviously, it's best to have the updated version, but if you don't, that's fine. Just make sure it's the same version 
otherwise you will have problems when you're trying to play so anyway let's go show in folder now and let's go control f that i'm just going to dump it in my folder so i don't lose it so let's go uh roost okay now that's yeah that's fine let me just control v at here so let's go here open p zip extract here and now i'm extracting all the files from the zip folder so let's just wait for that to be done perfect so now i can go over here double click here go in here and basically now this is all you have to do and don't worry your original game and your original game files the vanilla files they you will be able to re reinstall them in any time you want so this is just the balance changes if you want to check so uh he fixed, uh, well, these are some of the known bugs and stuff. The to-do to -do list is update all campaign maps and balance the depots. Um, yeah, and then this is just the changes to this version. And then it shows like all the previous versions as well, what has been changed. So uh, prices, damage, all of that stuff. Anyway, let's close this up and let's go to War Game Mod Installer. Double click this and it will open up momentarily. Then you go next. You go war game location so uh for me i have it in i think it's this let's just check it's this pc osc okay yeah it's program files times 86 and then i just need to find the steam folder steam then after that you go to the steam apps yeah steam apps then you go to common and then you go to roos so that's all you do you click over there so this is the file part that also says here, please browse and select your root installation directory. By default, it's C, program files times 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, and roots. Then once you do that, you click on roots and you go OK. Then it will say war game location. It will show your program file path. You go next. And then it will say, it looks like this is not a specified location. It's not a valid war game airline battle installation directory. You still wish to continue. You will say yes. The reason why it's saying this is because you're using the war game mod installer but it works for roost perfectly fine so i'll go yes then i can choose now which do i want to install do i want to install my roost original files or do i want to install my mod files so obviously i want to install the mod files so let's go install and there we go it's finished so now i can go finish and now if i want to i can okay let me go remove this close that and now let me show you guys exactly now let me go in game and show you that the mod has actually been installed it is actually working and everything and then yeah so let's go over here connecting the steam account okay okay so steam has now completed its updates and i'm gonna launch the game so launch ruse preparing okay yes and let's just wait ruse by ubisoft and Ugan system and now the game is launching so yeah, let's go. Yugen systems. Let's go. So yeah, basically I already finished this fall. Now I'm just gonna show you. Uh, let me go to Wikipedia actually. I'm pretty sure the Wikipedia has changed a bit. Yeah, it is. Does it give you all the updates and stuff? Yeah, it does. So as you can see, like the Wikipedia shows, Kubo Wagon fifteen dollars. Uh, SDFKZ twenty two 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 is twenty five bucks. And it shows you all the updated stats and stuff. So yeah, you can just like see like all the different units that have been tweaked, like the US now. Their bunkers, I think, are the same price, maybe a little bit different. Uh, as you can see, infantry, light infantry is three dollars, and heavy infantry is six dollars, and you know stuff like that has changed. Another thing is also the normal uh, Roost game. When you research something, so example, if you research, for example, let's go to Germany, go to armor. And if you research from a tiger to a king tiger, you can no longer make tigers, you can only make king tigers now. But in the mod, you can, even if you research tigers and then you go and you research king tigers next, you can still make tigers. So that is pretty cool. No matter what you research, you can still make the earlier version of that unit, which is really dope. So yeah, now I'm going to show you guys exactly how to go and reinstall your original Roos files. So if you go, you, re you installed the mod, you played a few games and now you want to go play with a friend or something who plays the original game now this is all you need to do so let's go to war game mod installer you go next go browse go with this pc go osc go to program files times 80 stick six and i'll find where's the steam file steam then go to steam apps 
you can find it. I swear I'm just scrolling past for some reason. Yeah, there goes Steam apps. Common, Ruth, OK, go next, OK, yes. And then you say Ruth original files, install, and finish. And that is it. My original files are installed again, and I'll show you guys just in case you guys do not believe me. So go yes. And trust me, the reason why I'm checking is as well is because when I first downloaded the mod, I was extremely concerned about what is going to happen to my original Roost files. I'll have to reinstall the entire game or something. And so I was just very pleased to see that that was not the case. You go to Roostopedia and then you check. And as you can see, everything is back. Light, uh, heavy infantry, about $5. Tank prices are back to normal and everything. And I can launch a game and play it. And it will be perfectly fine anyway if you guys did enjoy the video please do drop a like comment and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one if you guys have any questions at all regarding the mod any questions about what it actually changes or if you have any questions on how to download it or if you had any problems while trying to download and install it please feel free to leave a comment down below and i will get back to you as soon as i can anyway i'll see you guys in the next one Ichiro.